dear students let us begin a comparative study of perfect tenses and in this reference we are going to study present perfect tense in present perfect tense or do you know that what is perfect tense perfect means that something which has been completed recently it means that which has been done at once or just now so let us come to know the rules first of all affirmative in affirmative sentence first of all subject then helping verbs has or have according to the number of subject if subject is singular so has is to be used and if the subject is plural so have is to be used for example we can say that he she it ram mohan syam boy girl etc they will take helping verb has and along with the pronouns i you we they and some other nouns boys girls books chairs etc they will take have then third form of the main verb third form of the main verb means that past participle you have to use and finally object so let us see an example example is here i have learned music so here i this is subject and it has taken have learned this is past participle and music is an object another example is she has finished her work here she this is the subject and it is singular that's why has has been taken and finished this is past participle her work this is an object another example is they have gone there they this is the plural subject that's why have has been used gone this is past participle and there this is an object dear students let us know the rules of negative sentence in negative sentence subject then has have according to the number of subject then not never not never they are known as adverb of negation or negative adverbs then past participle and finally an object for example ravi has not played a match yet another example i have not taught you these rules dear students let us have the rules of interrogative in interrogative there are two types of interrogative rules first begins with helping verb and another question form so first of all let us have the rules which begins with helping verb so has or have according to the number of subject they are used in the beginning of the sentence then subject then uh, third form of the main verb finally an object and uh, at last question mark for example has he saved enough money another example is have you learned these rules dear students let us have some more examples of question form in question form the rule uh, somewhat gets changed first of all we use question word then has have then subject then past participle then object and finally question mark so let us have the example how have they solved this question so here this is the question form how this has been used here in the beginning have this is helping verb they this is subject solved this is past participle and this question this is an object so this is the example of question form. another example of the same is given where has mahesh spent his money so these are other rules i think students you have uh, got all the rules properly and thank you